is the Asus GL703GE. Pretty nice looking finish here. It's a brushed aluminum. And as you can see here, when we flip it over, you're going to have some options. There's going to be an upgrade panel here. Uh, and then you can also see there's a bunch of screws around here on the edge. And that's probably if you need to get to some more in-depth stuff. That's probably if you need to repaste your GPU or your CPU or something along those lines. And uh, to get this going, what you'll need is going to be plastic spudger, guitar pick, and then a Phillips head. And we'll see what's under this panel. Ooh. This little piece is sticky, and it'll turn into a batarang if you go too hard. So just keep that in mind. That's going to reveal this screw here. slot, 2.5 inch drive bay. What would actually need to be removed here? Doesn't look like it's gonna need to be a whole lot. We will take this drive out, obviously, because this wire runs along this, so it's gonna get in the way. So we'll definitely remove this, and then we'll get to removing the, the whole panel here and see what's going on with the rest of the laptop. And we'll actually remove the entire drive itself, and that way we'll actually see what thickness of 2.5 inch drive that you can use in this system. All right, well, it looks like you got plenty of space here. This is a seven millimeter drive that's in there, but it looks like there's definitely plenty to expand to a 9.5, so you can handle a two terabyte mobile. And then we'll get into the rest of this here. So you're going to have a bunch of screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And let's see what happens when we get into this thing. The screws all appear to be the same size as these screws I removed from the internal. Oh, well, here we go. Here's some different size screws. Okay. The screws in the back are going to be long screws. Make sure you keep these separated. screws pretty much everywhere in this laptop. That's really unfortunate. So this side screw here is going to be a nice short screw, but the screw that's right next to it is back to more of your standard length that you would see. So again, I'm trying to remember where those come from. I try to keep them, generally speaking, where they are. Is there a reason why they just wouldn't standardize it kind of like the MSI we just saw? Uh, you know, it's really about the laptop design and what they're trying to accomplish. You know, it would be nice if you had a giant laptop like that and you could have all the same length screws everywhere because you've got the space to work with. But in this model, it's much thinner, so you really don't have that kind of space in this unit. And that's kind of why they're forced to do that. All right, here we go. And we're going to look at this, how it's going to be separated. This panel is looks like it's going to be pretty simple to come out. So we'll start here. Why? Because it's trying to work with me, you know? The laptop is working with you. Don't fight it, you know? Oh, see? And you're going through these things? I missed the screw. I don't even see this guy over here. Keep that in mind. If you're ever working your way around the laptop, and it seems stiffer than it should be, chances are you missed a screw. And this is really confusing. There's different size screws in all these holes. Make sure, make sure whatever you do that you keep track of that. I missed another screw. And this, same length as the other one that came out right here. 
And now it comes up nice and easy. Look at that. When you do what you're supposed to do, things work for you. And just be careful on this here. Kind of rock it and let it come out on its own. Good to go. So there was indeed a second RAM slot. You know, you would think if they knew what they were doing, which I mean they do, they're aces, but you would think for upgradability purposes that you would have put the stick of RAM in this slot. So when the customer goes to upgrade, they don't have to take it completely apart since this slot was available in the easy access panel. So don't really understand that. What can you do? What we got here, we got a whole bunch of stuff going on. Monitor connection. I don't know what this is actually for here. Oh, this is your power connection. That's pretty beefy. Uh, obviously, giant battery. It's funny, too, because this battery, it, it looks huge, but it's actually got less watt hours than the battery that we took out of that GT75. That's your Intel. What's this? Hmm. That's a new series. I'm not sure about this one quite yet. Got your NVMe drive from Kingston here. So this is going to be your CPU, this is going to be your GPU. We're not going to do any of that today. It doesn't need a board flip or anything like that. Everything you need to access is right here for you. If you would need to repaste, again, everything is numbered. So it's all pretty simple. Just follow the, just follow the numbers, you know, It'll come right out. We will see what's under this battery. Again, different screws for everything which is super annoying because you have to keep track of that. And then we look at this connection here. It's going to be pretty standard, so we'll just take this guy, wiggle that out, and we'll keep it wiggling. All right. And then this pops right out. Nothing's going on here. You got your standard trackpad stuff. That's it. Of course, you'll notice these little mounting pegs here. Just make sure you seat the battery back into that. Make sure you put the right screws back in to the right places. Again, I usually place the screws right around the edge where the screw was supposed to go or where I took it out. actually nice here. There's actually markings right here on the battery to tell you that these are the holes that get these two screws, which is nice. And then there's of course another marking up here. Luckily for me, it's the same size as the other screw I took out of the panel anyway. Either or. And then you want to plug your battery back in of course. And you see that this does have this little like caution thing here, and, like it's going to void your warranty and all this other type of business. I think technically in the United States, you can't do things like that. The FTC will get mad about it. You can't void somebody's warranty even if they've broken this seal. Other than that, I mean, that's really it. It's pretty simple. We'll just demonstrate taking out things here. Pop these cables off, get that out of the way. Take your Wi-Fi out again. Standard M.2 form factor Wi-Fi. This is a 9560 NGW. Have to look into that. And we'll reattach the antenna. Always one of the most annoying parts of any laptop breakdown. Disconnecting and reconnecting these little connections. Pop this up. Shielding on both sides. And then seat it back down, 30% 30, 30 45 degree angle, somewhere in there. And we're going to go ahead and bust this seal. Because again, don't let them fool you. You can do this. It's got a little heat pad here. It's actually right under the controller for it. That's nice. Help it transfer some heat off of that, keep it cooler longer, it means it's going to run faster for longer. That's what you want it to do. Alright, so we've pretty much done everything that can be done, of course. Like I said, you can still do some repasting up here, but again, it's very simple. Just follow the patterns and unscrew it. You don't have to remove your fans here. Very, very simple process. If you do have any interest, please let us know. Uh, anyway. 
back to reassembling this thing, we're going to put this panel back on. This is again the easy access panel. Well, this isn't the easy access panel. This is what has the easy access panel in it. And normally, like I said, you wouldn't have any need to remove this unless you do intend to do something. Add more memory. Again, I don't know why they did this, but I'm going to put this hard drive back in. And I'm going to route this. Oh. There we go. Now we're going to route that. And it's a little pressure connection over here. So you just boop. And it's on. And hopefully you haven't misplaced any of your screws at this point. So these are secured with the shorter screws that you would pull down of the unit. Very similar screws are used for a couple of other places on the case here. Alright, so these edges here are going to have your shorter screws. So keep that in mind. We've got a couple of different lengths here that we're going to use. We're going to call these short. Those are the medium guys. And these are the long ones. Alright, so we're going to go short. Short. And we're going to knock out all the long screws, and the rest of everything that's left will be the medium. So if you're ever interested and you've lost any laptop screws or something like that, but there's the same screw that's used in another place in another laptop, you can buy screw checkers at any local hardware store or on Amazon or anything like that. And the rest of these, all the, everything that's left is going to be a medium length screw. Um, it's pretty simple. There's little threads on them. You just thread the screw in and then you size the screw and it's really, really simple process. Wait. That's not the one that we want to use. That's the one for the how to put a pen right there. And so you have to do this first. <laughs> this edge. And getting these in is kind of a pain. So work your way around. The battery's right there. You might have to mess with it a little bit, but eventually it'll be nice and flush. Secure it. And then put on your little battery ring again. Boom. And we're done.